The Division's 1.2 update called Conflict is here, and along with it comes a new way to earn elite gear and Phoenix credits. They're called High Value Targets, and it's the best thing to happen for solo play since the game launched. Hang a right once you enter the base of operations, and there, next to the canine unit, is the daily HVT officer and the weekly HVT officer. Now, in order to purchase missions, you'll need a new currency, and that's called Intel. To earn Intel, you'll first need to clear out all of the encounters and side missions in a section of the map. Once you do, an exclamation point will show up next to that zone's safe house. Travel there and hit up the mission board for new search and destroy missions. These missions will take you back out into the city for three linked firefights against small groups of enemies. Once you're within 50 meters of a location, your objective will change. Secure the area by killing all the enemies and then move on to the next and the next. The third part of each search and destroy mission will take you underground into a large vault. It's a space that you've probably fought in a few times before, but the enemies here are going to be higher level. Don't do what I did in this scenario. My recommendation is to turn around, go down a ladder underneath these enemies while keeping them from aggroing you. Come up behind them and hit them at close range, but whatever play style works for the gear you've got at hand. Once they're down, you'll be able to return to the original safe house for yet more intel and a high-end item. Now head back to the base of operations, and you can cash in that intel for a high-value target finally. Now, the patch is only a day old, and so far it's been a little unstable for me. I had to run this particular HVT mission three times before it worked out for me. Your mileage may vary, but here's a few tips to keep things running smoothly. First, don't rush the objective. Sneak in first and locate the mob. That will change your objective and give you the green light to take them all out. They'll come at you in at least two waves and make a passing attempt at flanking you. While the mission timer shouldn't be a big deal, the mission area will be. Don't wander outside the red area or you'll regret it. Keep an eye on your radar to see where the enemies are with each wave. Finally, the named enemy will appear. They'll have a few heavily armored flunkies along for the ride, but with a decent ranged weapon, they shouldn't be much trouble at all. Bring plenty of medkits and arm yourself with any healing perks you've got. Soloing is tough work, and this is a no-respawn encounter. Use cover to your advantage, obviously, but bank some explosive rounds away to make quick work of that named enemy when the time is right. Now, again, this was my first HVT mission. As a result, though, I got 15 Phoenix credits, not too shabby, and a decent set of knee pads. At level 182, they had a mod slot, and I was able to re-roll for some good disrupt resistance. The best part is that the HVT mission dumps you out near another safe house. Jog on over, grab another search and destroy mission, grind some intel, and begin the cycle again. Missions update daily and also weekly. And while most are recommended for groups of four, these solo excursions have proven very lucrative for me. Good luck out there, agents.